Our job numbers are incredible, and uh, you're going to see some very big numbers coming out over the next 90 days, 120 days. It's all taken effect, and I have to tell you, uh, your governor has been fantastic, Scott Walker. Today on Live at Four, an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with President Donald Trump during his visit to Snap-on here in Wisconsin, highlighting the country's economy with the slogan, Buy American, Hire American. We have team coverage today of the president's visit. Charles Benson, Tom Durian, and Julia Fellow are all in Kenosha to ensure we get you complete coverage. Let's get things started, though, with Charles Benson, who a couple hours ago had an exclusive interview with the president. Charles. Yeah, this was a big day for Donald Trump, President Trump. He comes here to deliver our number on another one of his campaign promises coming to Snap-on Tools. The company says that 80 percent of its products that it sells in America is made in America. So President Trump came here to sign an executive order called Buy American, Hire American. And one of the key components of that executive order is the crackdown on what they see as fraud and abuse of the guest worker program, foreign workers coming in that undercut American jobs, undercut American wages. Here's part of my conversation with President Trump. Your executive order here has been called an historic step. But since we're at a tools place, does this give you the tools that you really need to make this a game changer for the American worker? Well, it does, and it's also just the beginning. We're doing many, many things. You've seen that already, both environmentally and other ways to create jobs. Uh, our job numbers are incredible, and uh, you're going to see some very big numbers coming out over the next 90 days, 120 days. It's all taken effect, and I have to tell you, uh, your governor has been fantastic, Scott Walker, and your senator, Ron, right over there. Hello, Ron Johnson. But they've been fantastic. We have a great team. Everybody, I mean, everybody from this state has been so fantastic. Now, the executive order calls on departments of labor, justice, state, and homeland security to review the current rules and to enforce the rules on these guest workers that are coming into the country. But even President Trump tells me he's going to need some legislative help. Here's an, another part of my interview with him. Do you need some legislative muscle behind this? As you know, maybe uh, Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin has introduced a bill called America uh, for America Jobs and to create a system where U.S. steel and iron would be used for in infrastructure projects. Do you support that? Well, I do. I support the concept of everything from the U.S. So let's talk about the president's trip here to Kenosha, bring in our political panel. We have Joe Sapecki, Democratic strategist and former Wisconsin communications director for President Obama. And also joining us today is Robin Moore, a Waukesha County GOP party activist. Robin, let me start with you. This was a campaign promise for the president. Did he deliver today? Oh, I believe so, Charles. This was something that uh, really brought a lot of optimism and enthusiasm. It's why people went to the polls in November and elected Donald Trump as our president, because we were tired of just hearing the talk about making the, Amer the economy growing and going again. And we're seeing this as a signal that this is actually going to happen. And it's great that he came to Wisconsin to do this. Snap-on's a great company. The Wisconsin economy needs a, a good boost. And we're looking forward to seeing how this impacts going Going down the road. Joe, if the president is looking for bipartisan support, will he find it in this area when he talks about buy American, hire American? Well, you would hope so, and I really don't understand why the president doesn't ask Leader McConnell to take up Senator Baldwin's buy America legislation again. Today, you had the president of the United States in the home congressional district of the Speaker of the House, a very strong ally in Paul Ryan, and the, the fact of the matter is the House refused to take up. Senator Baldwin's legislation that would actually put legislative teeth behind what the president purports to stand for. Listen, these modifications to H-1B visas are welcome, but we're talking about 85,000 visas annually. There is much more that this president needs to be doing to actually deliver on his campaign promises. Robin, when you look at the visa program and what it's offering here, do you think, though, there's going to be more help needed on the legislative side. What does it need to be done to help American workers and to grow the economy? Obviously, there's a lot of other things he's talking about, infrastructure bill, tax reform, but is this the first step that's needed? 
It's a good step in the right direction, Charles. It's a signal to American businesses that this president is willing to work with them and listen to them. He's been meeting with business leaders since he's been in office, and the fact that he's listening to what they need and the things that they'd like to see happen is a, is a big thing. When we start talking tax reform and when we start uh, talking all the infrastructure deals that are going to be coming our way, I think that's when the legislator, legislative entities are going to be able to step in and make sure that these wheels really get going. But it's a, it's a great signal. Uh, recently, the uh, National Manufacturers Association did a survey, and they are confident in the American economy, so much so 93% uh, confident in the, the direction that the American economy is going in. It's a great signal. And those are the people that sign the front of the paychecks for American workers. And if we can get those wheels going and we get the legislation to accompany this after we find out where the weaknesses are in the H-1B visa program and in some of the trade imbalances. It's going to be a, a, a great time for the American economy to get rolling again. Joe, as you know, Wisconsin is always a battleground in the political year, but even Kenosha was a hardcore political battleground. I think President Trump won here just by 250 votes. One of the things that he said that caught my attention in the speech here is that he thought the vote was to end the the theft of what he called the American prosperity. Is he speaking today to voters that Democrats are going to have to be trying to win over when it comes to 2018? Sure, and that's where the president has a problem. He's talking an awfully big game and making a lot of big promises, but he's at the least productive first 100 days in office of any president in modern times. His signature legislative effort of the first 100 days fell apart. He talked to you about an infrastructure package that a lot of people, myself included, thought he should have done first. He has so far proven incapable of being able to deliver on the promises he made, and I don't see any uh, potential for that to change in sight. All right, Joe Sapecki and Robin Moore, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much.